have Paradise. And we're doing the Rock and Roll Rebels and the Sunset Strip review of the entire CD. We're at the Paradise section. And uh, I talked to Stephen Craig about putting a Imaginal Peace out uh, last night and today. So if anybody has any good quality Imagine World Peace demos out there, because all of ours was like tape to tape to tape to bad tape, recorded over some other music tape, and then it made it sound bad. If, anyways, if you have it, let me know. Um, now, Adam, Adam, the singer of this band, did the liner notes for the box set. This is a stellar box set by Ionian Records, like I said. And, uh, and uh, uh, anyways, let me read this. So it says, Adam Gifford, let me see if it's in the screen here, that box. Adam Gifford vocals, uh, oh yeah, 1986 to 1992. Um, there's a glare, let's see, uh, I, mean, I can't read that. Um, wow, the font is hard to see. Let me see here. Matt, um, I can't read the last name, that's what's getting me. S H U R R, I think that's two R's. Uh, Sherway guitar, Danny Wilder bass, Mike March drums. In memory of Danny Wilder, for whom we spent our fondest years with. Oh, so the bass player must have passed away. <clears throat> uh, additional musicians: James Lockhart bass, Robbie Crane bass. I know Robbie. I didn't know he played in this band. Um, I remember from I met him when he was in Monroe. Let's see here. Um, Nicholas Elliott drums, Jeff Marshall drums. Origin of name: classic, timeless, and commercial. Paradise sounded positive, upbeat, which was the exact opposite of what was cool on the Sunset Strip at the time. <clears throat> in the, yeah, because it was Guns N' Roses moment, you know, where it was like you know burly. <laughs> In, uh, influences. In the beginning, Van Halen, Cheap Trick, Rat, Dokken, and Whitesnake were huge influences. Van Halen is my favorite okay. of all time. Okay, uh, in, and uh, once Paradise was headlining and selling out, they matured and more epic bands like Led Zeppelin, Queen, and the Beatles began to influence their sound. Yeah, if you see the footage of these guys on, uh, on uh, YouTube uh, playing uh, the country club, it's I mean, that's a huge place, too. These dudes were, like, super, super popular. Like, uh, I know all the bands always say, we, we're the most popular and we sell out and blah, blah, blah. And, and, and although I'm sure a lot of these bands, they did sell out, don't get me wrong, but this band was particularly huge. So when they say that, it's actually very serious. Okay, so uh, songwriting style, sometimes sweet, sometimes heavy, and often extremely naughty. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Paradise songs ran the gaunt, uh, gamut from double uh, kick balls out metal to top 40 hard rock and everything in between. Some songs were even funky or they might break into a little reggae live. <clears throat> uh, Paradise wrote songs with no boundaries. All right. So uh, the singer of Imagine World Peace, his, he really, this is like one of his main influences. He always brings this guy up like as... Uh, just always like, oh, that guy's so cool. That that band was so cool, you know. And um, it's kind of funny be, because he's like, uh, um, you know, the band Paradise. That's like a um, the rival band, I guess. I was I was actually realizing that, that it was true. It was a rival band. The singer was uh, this band was saying that. And uh, I remember Theodore was firmly on the side of Paradise. <laughs> it's just kind of funny, you know. Anyways, um, actually I did a guitar lesson video for one of their songs and the singer commented on it, although the comment disappeared because I like those comments. That's kind of why I do them. Okay, so um, songwriting. Okay, I already read that. Um, okay, the recording. Satisfaction Guaranteed was recorded at NRG Recording Studios, Hollywood, California, and produced by Jason Lord and Matt Sh... Oh, sh... Um, Oh, I can see it there. It's two M's. Shermway. A, a, a sh shumway. Shum, or is that an R and an N? Shernway. <laughs> Dang it. it night, my glasses are, you know, and this glare off this ring light is not helping either. And the fact that it's really small. Okay, I'm in, 
Okay, in 1989. I'm in Love With You was recorded at Tracks, Re Track Record Studios, Hollywood, California, and produced by a Adam Gifford and Matt Shernway in 1991. All right, so let's check this out. Now, these songs are awesome, actually. And uh, now that I think about it, I did uh, the second song on piano, classical style, and blended it with um, Mozart, I think. Um, the uh, Mozart in uh, Sonata in C major. <laughs> and it works perfectly. Because this melody in the second song, the chorus just sounds classic to me. So that would be, it sounded like Beatles y to me. So there you go. Close up here. Get a good default hit. Awesome beach song. Catch the lyrics. Smoking guitar player. This part, I love it. Bass player. Drummer too, listen to these guys. Nice.
Awesome. To me, to me that epitomizes the Sunset Strip right there. Nice. Now this is the one I did the classical uh, the piano version of the of the chorus. It's on YouTube. Very pretty. So the counter melody too. See right there, it just reminds me of classical. Some of the like the Beatles would touch on that. Bridge too. Hit song. This, this box that's filled with hit songs. This part. It's so hard for me to say all the words that you want me to say. Awesome singing. You gotta trust me, baby. This. I'm in love with you. Whoa, Beautiful right here. I'm in love with you. Whoa, I'm in love with you. Whoa, I'm in love with you. And then the key change. There you go, Paradise, classic, classic Sunset Strip band, actually. One of the main ones, you know. I, like, to me, you could still put this stuff out on, like, classic rock radio. You're telling me that people, like, myself, wouldn't like this? Of course, I, I, I do. So, why, you know, you're telling me, like, the, um, anybody who liked this kind of music, you know, hears this, this stuff, and, you know, Forget it. This is a hit hit band. It's all. It doesn't matter. I think that eventually this there, this band will be a hit somehow. Just somehow, because you can't be this good, you know, and not be a hit somehow, you know. Eventually. Um, anyways, I know. Um, I talked to the singer about doing a show like uh, with a bunch of bands, uh, Madri with a Madrimal piece and that sort that sort of thing. And um, if you ever want to uh, do another reunion show, just hit hit us up because we'd love to play with you. We'd you know have the bands play together, have it be, you know, like a, make it more, you know, monsters of rock, but on the Sunset Strip ish, <laughs> Lollapalooza. 
All right, so yeah. Anyways, uh, there you go, paradise.